Close your eyes and stay with your breath, all the way in, all the way out. Try to be as consistent as you can in staying here, because you want to watch your mind. You have to be here all the time, because it's very tricky. It'll point in another direction, point in this direction, so you don't see what it's doing. And as the Buddha said, it's because you don't know what you're doing, that's why they're suffering. And the mind will point out signs because of this person or that situation or whatever. And as long as it refuses to look inside, it's not going to see the real causes, and it's going to keep on suffering. So no matter how many arrows are pointing outside, and no matter how insistent they are, you got to keep your focus in here. The breath is a good place to be because of the different elements in the body. It's the closest to the mind. So you can be right here. And when a change comes in, you'll know. And what direction it's going in, you'll also know. And this is the whole point of the Four Noble Truths. It's not just that life is suffering, suffering. The Buddha never said that, actually. There is suffering, and it's clinging. But you're not clinging because of things outside. The image they give is a fire. Back in those days, they believed that fire clung to its fuel. As long as it was clinging, it would burn. And when it would let go, then it would go out. The fire would go out. It wasn't that the fuel was clinging to the fire. It was the fire that was doing the clinging. In the same way that the mind is clinging, and there's nothing clinging to it. But because the mind keeps wanting to cling, that's why it keeps suffering. So you've got to see this inside. Because once you see this and comprehend it, then you can let go of the cause, and that'll be the end of suffering. It is It is something that can be ended. if you look in the right place and do the right things. So keep your focus inside, because that's what the problems are. Some people say you come into the present moment and that's the end of the problems. That's just the beginning of the work, because the real problems are right there in the present moment, what the mind is doing right now. Even if you've got bad karma coming in from the past, it's what you're doing with that karma right now that makes you suffer. If you learn how to be more skillful right now, you wouldn't be any, there wouldn't be any suffering. So keep your focus in here. Otherwise, if there's mud inside the mind and you go splashing it right outside, then you complain about the world being muddy. You have to look for the source. And it's displaying itself all the time. It's simply that we're looking elsewhere. So turn around and look inside, and then you can solve the problem. You will be a lot lighter. There'll be no more mud inside. There'll be no more mud in the world outside. And that way you can live in peace.